Hi, my name is Jodie from Tonic Studios and I am absolutely delighted to bring you what I think is one of the best things since sliced bread. It's beautiful, it really is. Welcome to the delightful dresser. Now this is the first time that Tonic have ever brought you a folder with a double ooh, A4 die set inside. Two sets of dies. And this is gonna make the most amazing dresser. But what you'll see straight off the back, if I take those out, you have got all your instructions that you need in there to make the most amazing dresser, okay? Now I'm gonna put these back in and I'm gonna show you around all the different bits and pieces, okay? Yes, you get all the dies in there. Yes, you've got your instructions. Yes, the folder is jammed pack with all inspiration for you to make what is the most amazing dresser. So let's have a look at some inspiration. How would you like to make uh, the most amazing dresses? I mean, that's a double aspect. But what about a single? You can have, they're like little arm walls. That, they're, they're stunning. They really are stunning. Whether you're bringing your plain cardstock in. But let's go in depth. Let's have a look inside, okay? Because inside here, you've also got drawers. So if I open this up here, take my ribbon out, Straight away at the top, you've got little closures. So we're gonna open those little closures up. You've got your little locks at the beginning here. And when you open this up, you have got a full stack of little drawers on the inside. They are beautiful. They really are. Who would have thought that when we started manufacturing dyes, we would get to the point where we could make something as intense as this. They're beautiful. We've got advent calendars. I'm going to reach behind me and I'm going to grab this large one, okay? Because what about putting four of them together? Now, what's inside? It's like, ooh, what's inside the cupboard? So literally open them up, pull the doors open, and inside there, you've even got the drawers with all the handles on there as well. Now you do get numbers inside here as well, so you can make this into a beautiful advent box, but how would you like to make one of those? Get yourselves on the website. They're available now to buy from Tonic Studios, and I just know you're gonna have so much fun. So let's make one of these beautiful dresses, okay? Because I've got all my little bits all cut out, all ready to go. So let's clear the decks so that we can start to play, okay? Because this dresser is beautiful, it really is. So what we are going to do is we're gonna start with the main section of the dresser. So this is the bit that comes around here, okay? You're gonna cut that one out twice and you're gonna bring in some glue, place it around there and literally rotate one round and place it over the top of the other one there. And you can automatically see now how sides are going to build up into that middle segment there, okay? So let's take those sides off. Now, best way to card to use for this would be a 240 GSM because you are wanting it to keep its shape. So we're gonna build this all the way around, putting it right into those little joints, sealing it up. Choice of adhesive is yours. I love to use high tack because you know I'm the impatient one, but you could be using normal a glue. So that there is the beginning. Now you can see that that is that middle segment on that one there, okay? Now, because we've got drawers to go inside here, we need to build the cross members in the middle. Now I've got some already made, made up, but I shall show you what the cross members look like. And that is these ones here. These are your cross members, okay? This is what your drawer is gonna slide in and out of. So you need two of those per drawer. And all you do is take off that tape. You're gonna align one straight up and then right over the other side, we're going to take that tape off there 
and we're going to come in and stick down there. And that there is one of the drawer sliders. Now you can see that we've got a stack of three going up there. So you're going to need three drawer sliders on each side. So simply place your adhesive on there, take another one, exactly the same process as what you've just done, and you're going to stick them all up. So that is there is going to give you that side of your drawers to slide in and out of. So that there is one stack, and we're just going to stick the other three together now. So it's just a case of straight over the top, placing the next one in. Make sure that it's lined up on the edge because you don't want it to have a little step in it. It needs to be level in there. And then your next one on the top of there. So two things now, you have a choice. You can either put these in loose inside here, like so, or you can stick them in. The choices are yours, okay? But straight away, let's just level all that up in there, making sure that everything is sat nice inside there. Just have a little play, a little bit fiddle, and you've got your little drawer liners in there, okay? Now, the other thing, see, you've got choices with this. It's brilliant, it really is. You've got two different style drawers. You've got a drawer that has got a straight front. You have got a drawer that's got the little finger hole, okay? So you can just put your finger in to pull. Now, if you're doing this sort of drawer, you've even got the handles to go on the front. They are really, really pretty little things. Perfect for putting your numbers on as well if you're doing the advent cat calendar. But they are literally a case of taking two of the same die cut, taking your adhesive, placing your adhesive around there, rotating the other one round, sticking it onto the bottom, take your high tack off and then secure those sides in, yeah? So we've done nothing hard at all. We're just literally following it's a natural progression where they want to sit. So you're just going in there, taking that one off there. So I've now got, I'm having a collection of drawers because I can, okay? So I've now got my six little drawers, okay? And this is why I say you have got options because, because I've not glued this in, I can actually take those back out and put all my drawers in. So literally, let's have all the ones with the little finger hole at one side. So I'm putting those into there. And then I'm gonna put the other ones into the other side, all the way up here. And this is why I say you have choices. Because we've got the carcass, we've got the two drawer stacks. Yes, I could have stuck those, th those in, but maybe I'm a little crafty. You know we like a little bit, a bit of craftiness. We could actually have one side with drawers in and we could actually put little shelves in that side. We don't have to have two sets of drawers. We could actually just shelf it so we can put little bits on, on there or have your two sets of drawers in, in there with no problem at all, okay? So that's the bulbous bit. We're now going to do the decoration, okay? And that's the middle carcass, isn't it? So let's do the decorations. You have got dies in there to do the cornice across the top. So we've got the cornice going across the top here. We've also got the plinths for the bottom as well. So let's go ahead. So that there is one die. You've then got other little dies to do those little corner brackets here and all we've done is just stick those together so this is going to go on the top okay so it literally is a case of taking your adhesive and lining this up corner to corner 
and we're going to flip that up and then we're going to take that one all the way around the back and level it up. Honestly, when you first look at this, I looked at the die set when I first got it and I'm like, oh my word, but it's so easy. Once you get them, you will start to see where everything has a natural progression and just follows through. So we've now got the front of that lovely cornice on the top. So it's starting to look more like an armoire as we go, go on. We're gonna have the back one as well. And the more of these components that you decide to add, the more integrity you've got in that little unit itself. It starts to really feel solid, okay? So let's put the side in as well. So that is just gonna slide onto that one. And then this one around the bottom. Oh, let's just ease that one back out so it's nice and level. So you can now see that we've got that cornice on the top. I mean, it looks, it looks lovely as it is. It reminds me of, a um, oh, now that'd be nice, a baby changing unit. You could put a little top it in there. It'd look like a changing unit for a newborn baby, maybe with little gifts inside the drawers. Beautiful. But then we have got this bottom segment here, and this is going to sit on the bottom. Now, what I like to do is, this is my cheat for this bit. So I like to take my high tack, okay, and place it across this bottom of the dresser. Because it's quite a long seg segment, I just find this bit easier to do it this, this way, okay? So I'm having a piece on the front and I'm having a piece on the back there. And then we're gonna start to stick this on, okay? So I wanna start with the front of my dresser first. So let's take that tape off of there. And I'm gonna start with the front piece, okay? And I'm gonna level that up, stick that onto there, and then can you see how that side actually sits over the top. It doesn't go under like the other ones. It actually sits over the top. So this is where now I just put a little bit of glue on that side. And before it sticks, oh, look, look at all this, it gets everywhere. And then my next one is gonna go in there and stick onto there. So now that is in its natural position, okay? And the same with the other side now. I'm gonna add the adhesive onto that arc and then bring in the other tab Join it up to its friend at the front and then pat that bit of glue down. So now we've got the cornice, we've got the trellis on the bottom. It's starting to look rather lush, yeah? Now you have got doors on, the, on this, which I have to say, they're a genius, a genius. Because this here, is your draw die, okay? Now the instructions show you one way to put this together. I'm gonna show you Jodie's way to put this together, okay? You know I like to upset up, up, upstairs with their instructions, but I find it easier to do it this way, okay? So you can see if I just hold that flat on my mat, you can see where I've got the adhesive on those sides, okay? I'm going to turn it over and you can see I've got two strips of adhesive just down the legs there, okay? Because these legs we're going to bring inside. So make sure that everything is folded, make sure that everything is creased and I'm going to start with the back of the door. The back of the door is the side that's got that long glue tab going all the way down that side there, okay? Because what I do, and this is my personal choice, I find this easier. I take off those two little bits of adhesive and I'm gonna bring that in and I'm gonna come parallel to that score line there. And we're gonna bring that in 
and it's just going to come parallel to that little score line there okay the same on the other side make sure it's bent before you even try this and place it in so you've still got the movement because that's your hinge to stick it to the door but these now oh, stick down sweetie let's just give it a little bit more love and attention on there because now it means I've got my glue on those inner rims and this is where I change it with with tonic tonic don't tell you to glue it inside there but I just find this bit easier okay because now what I do is take off that little bit of high tack there and that one as well and by doing it this way it means that when I bend that over, it simply means I can grab hold of my high tack and push it into place. The way that Tonic tells you to do it is put that on the inside of that, but then you can't pinch it, okay? By doing it that way, it means you can get your fingers in and seal it all up, okay? Now it's just a case of starting with the outer perimeter side, bringing that in, folding it in, so you're making like a little box frame and sticking it down. So you've got a little bit of sort of edge there. And now the other ones naturally fold over with the chamfered edge over the top, fold it in, put it up and stick it down. And you'll find that everything just it is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's do that one as well. Bring that one over the top, level it up, stick it down, and there we have a door frame. No double glazer needed. We've got the door frame. Okay. Now in there, you've got choices as well. You've got choices of different panels to make those little windows. You know, when you think about like um, French furniture in the old farmhouses, they've got the chicken wire sort of front frontage. That reminds me of the chicken wire. And what we're going to do is we're going to double aspect this because you're going to want the inside of your box to look just as pretty as the outside. Just going to bring that adhesive, just blobbing it into those middle bits. I'm going to take its friend and we're going to stick it straight over the top. Oh, like so. And then this is going to stick on the inside of my door frame. And that is going to give the rigidity to that frame and really make it a solid piece of kit. Okay. So we're just going to level all that up all the way over there and now we have got two door frames they're cute aren't they they are the cutest things in sliced bread so all you're going to do now is take your adhesive you're going to put your adhesive down that glue tab there try and get it as close to your score line as you can and then those little door frames are going to come and sit you see how these are slightly recessed into the actual framework and those little glue tabs are going to sit on that inner recess okay so let's take that and let's place that recess i hold it up and offer it into it because then i can see where the actual score line is and then i bend it back okay and just reinforce that little bit and you can see how that door perfectly fits in there and then the next one turn it on its end take the door offer it up to the inside and then i just fold it back so i can get my fingers on the inside to tickle that tape and we've now got two of the little drawers so we can see in there. Do you want to see in there? Maybe you don't. Put some paper behind there. You don't see the drawers then. But this is where Tonic Studios absolutely excel themselves. And this is a genius. Okay. How would you like a Bradless closure? 
it's good this are you ready so this here is your little float closure now also in your collection you have got a die that just puts a little deboss in the center of that and then you've got a die that cuts out little circles as well this is the genius part okay so you're going to take that little circular disc you're going to add a little bit of glue inside there and then you're going to take one of these little circles and place it into the middle and then the same whoops of the other circle are you going to make sure that those circles are really in the center of that circle okay now you're going to put that to one side and you're going to let it dry because what you're going to do then is you're going to take two more of this brad you're going to double aspect it so you're going to turn one over and you're going to stick that onto the top so you've got a real good quality i mean if you're doing 100 you're doing 2 240 gsm you've then got 480 there so it's a really thick piece of card and then that sits over the top of the circle this is our toby's he's just an absolute genius a little bit of glue right into the center of that one and then put the other one on the top and what you're going to have it's genius you can actually rotate these backwards and forwards so what, let me get this one is it stuck let's have a look no it's not quite stuck yet come on stick there we go so this now is going to come and stick onto the top of here that one's going to stick on there this one's going to stick on the bottom oh, like so and then you have got your little brads in there which are going to rotate out but if you want you even got your little brackets to stick on the inside of your drawers you're going to stick those on the inside of those doors let me just put them in and then you can either put a little stick through through there i mean i did see one a minute ago where was it oh come on where were you here we go this tall one they've actually put the little stick through the middle there yeah i'm not going to move those brads because they're still still wet but these little brads are absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to find one of the paperless ones. Here, here we go. This is a paperless one. You do need to let them dry, okay? Because this one here, look, there's no brad in it. It just runs on that circle. Absolutely beautiful. But please let, let them dry first, yeah? Because if you don't, if you don't let them dry, it's just gonna pop off the, the circle. But you can see how that little paperless brad comes over the top but that there is how you make that delightful dresser and you know what i can't wait to see what you come up with because we've had so much fun see you later